better tradesperson. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Rob Densaw. I'm the sprinkler instructor at the UA Piping Industry College. Today, I'm going to do a demonstration on how to properly test the pressure vacuum breaker. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you've notified the building owner or occupants that you're going to be working on their system to just to verify that it's okay. Um, so once we've done that, we can we can verify that we have the proper piece of equipment that we're testing here. So I'm going to grab my sheet here, which has my, I'm going to document what I've got. I've got a Watts model number L, LF800M4QT, serial number 069529. And the size is three quarter inch. Next, we're going to verify our gauge, whether it's calibrated. We're going to document what type of gauge it is. It's a Watts gauge, TK99E, serial number 208587. And it's calibra calibrated by BHD on the 27th of January, 2022. So this gauge is good to go. So I'm just gonna turn this valve on so it's working. So before we start doing any testing, we've already verified that we're allowed to shut the water down. But before we touch anything, we're going to verify that nothing's been leaking. So we can look at the assembly itself, make sure there's no drips, no corrosion. We're going to pull the cap off to verify there has been nothing in the seat as well. Try not to lose the screws. Okay, so I'm checking out the seat right now. It's looking pretty clean. It's in good condition. So we can start doing our testing. So on the pressure vacuum breaker, the first thing that we're, well, we're going to do three tests. The very first test is we're going to, we're going to test this opening point on this air inlet. We're going to see what pressure it opens at. We're going to see how strong this spring is. So it has to have a minimum of one PSI. So our differential gauge is going to tell us exactly what that's opening at. Second test is we're going to test our check valve, which it only has one in this, this assembly. So we're going to see what pressure that check valve is holding in the direction of flow. So it's going to tell us how strong that spring is. Again, we need a minimum one PSI. If it doesn't get that, then we have to obviously change out the check valve, replace it. Um, the third test is just going to be our line pressure on test cock number one. So, just like the other assemblies that we tested earlier, we're just going to flush our test cocks. Test cock one, doesn't matter which order really on this one. And test cock two. There we go. Everything is flushed. And for this test, all we really need is our differential gauge with our high side hose. We're going to connect our high side hose for test number one on test cock number two. We're going to make sure everything's closed on our gauge. We don't want water flowing out for no reason. Okay, everything's closed. So now I can open test cock number two. And just like on the prior test, we're going to make sure we get all the air out of this gauge. Once we've established that, we can close our bleed valve. We're going to close shut off valve number two first. If you shut Number one first, you're going to end up dumping this air in or air relief or air in that. 
Then we're going to close shutoff valve number one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, through that high side bleed valve, we're going to slowly let the water, the pressure out of this body, slowly go down. And we're going to watch this differential gauge and you'll be able to hear that pop. So you really got to watch, concentrate on the gauge and listen for the pop. As soon as that pop happens, you've got to record that pressure. So all we're going to do now is we're going to, I like to do this. I like to just open the bleed valve a little bit and then I'm going to put my finger over top of that, over top of that. And it just really controls, controls that pressure drop because you don't want it to drop too fast. So eventually we'll start, there we go, we're slowly dropping. I'm just holding my finger, my finger is controlling how quickly that's dropping. And we've got to make sure we hold it at the elevation of the body as well. So we're slowly, and that's going to give us an accurate reading. If we're holding it too high or holding it too low, it's not going to give us an accurate reading of when that spring is open. So we're slowly dropping. Slowly drop, and we're at about 10 psi right now. 9 psi, 8 8.6, 8.2, 8, 7.8, and again, it will start to drop fast at the end, so make sure you control that, keep an eye on it. 6.6, 6.4, 6.2, 6, 5.8. 5 5.6, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 5.4, 
Make sure we're bleeding all the air out. Now I can close our high side bleed valve. Just like we did on the first test, we're going to close shut off valve number one now. Close shut off valve number one. And this one's pretty simple. We're going to put this at the elevation of the check valve. And we're just going to open test cock number two. So now what it's doing is it's, it's, we're going to let that water fully drain out of the body again. Once it's completely stopped dripping, again, if it wasn't kept dripping on the first test, then this is going to keep dripping here. It just means shut off valve number one is leaking. Again, you could use our compensating valve on test cock number one to compensate for that drip if you had a problem with that. So I stopped dripping. I'm going to give it my two minutes in the field. 10 seconds for the purposes here and we're going to count down 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 we're good to go our check valve number one is holding tight in the direction of flow at 1.2 And our very last test, we're just going to test our line pressure now. Close our test cock number one. We're going to well, we can establish our pressure. Make sure this is closed again or you will get wet. Put our hand over top of this. Hook, our, hook up our gauge to test cock number one. And again, all we're going to do is record our line pressure. And we have a line pressure of about 52 PSI. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to record our line pressure as 52 PSI. I'm going to disconnect our gauge. Okay, that's a pass. Check valve is holding tight. I'm going to sign my paperwork. And I'm going to make sure my test cocks are closed. Everything's looking good. I'm going to replace my cap. Again, it's always a good idea to ask permission to turn the water back on. I can quickly check for leaks. Give it a good wipe down. Make sure we got no drips. Make sure none of the test cocks are leaking. Everything's holding nice and tight. Ask permission to turn the water back on. And we should be good to go. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully this is helpful. And we'll see you next time.